How many of you aspire to become a JRF or lecturer or professor in a college in India? If your answer is going to be yes, you are at the right place now. I'm here to help you out to know the eligibility criteria for CSAR Net Life Sciences. So, are you ready? Hey Ardent Learners, this is Caroline Green from Biotechnica. With no more delay, let's get started. The first question that comes into everybody's mind is, what should be my qualification if I have to write CSAR Net Life Sciences? Suppose if you are a graduate of MSc or any of your equivalent degree, then you are eligible to write the CSAR Net Life Sciences. And if you have completed your four years of your BS, then you are also good to go and write the CSAR Net Life Sciences. And if you have your degree integrated BS, MS, again, you are also eligible to write the CSAR Net Life Sciences. If you ask me a question that if I have completed B Pharma, am I eligible? Yes, you are also eligible to write the CSAR Net life sciences then comes b or b tech graduates yes you are also eligible to write this exam finally mbbs graduates are also eligible to write this csar net life sciences the next question we used to have a lot of questions from this so i have enrolled in msc but i have not completed can i apply i'm going to tell you a very good news yes you are also eligible to apply for CSIR Net Life Sciences, but there's a condition. You can apply only in results awaited category. This is very important. If you are in your first year MSc, you can also apply for it, but you have to apply in a category called result awaited. What's the next conditions? Suppose if you are in your first year and you have qualified it, then you are expected to clear your MSc degree during that stipulated time because this JRF fellowship has a validity period of two years. So you have to complete your degree before the fellowship gets over. The next one, what I have to do while applying, you need to get an attestation certificate from the head of the department or the institution where you are actually studying. Suppose you're on the first year, then if you are wanting to do your CSAR Net Life Sciences, you need to have your attestation certificate from the head of the department or the university or the institution where you are exactly studying. Okay. The next question, I am enrolled in integrated MS PhD or some might have passed your BSc honors. If you ask me a question, am I eligible? Again, a good news, you are go and sit for CSAR Net Life Sciences, yes. The next question is, many might be having this question, can a BSc general give CSAR Net Life Sciences? No, you are not eligible to write CSIR Net Life Sciences. Some might be asking me this question. I have completed BSc Honors Specialization and I have qualified CSIR Net also. Am I eligible for both JRF as well as LS? I'm going to tell you, if you have completed your BSc and along with that you have qualified your CSIR Net, then you are eligible only for JRF and you are not eligible for LS. Or if you want to become a professor or a lecturer in a college, then you need to have your master's degree. Yes, the next question, can a BTEC graduates give CSIR Net Life Sciences? Again, a very good news. Yes, you are also eligible to write the CSAR Net Life Sciences. Another important question, can a pharma candidate write CSAR Net Life Sciences? Yes, a very good news again. You are also eligible to apply for the CSAR Net Life Sciences. Okay, very important question again. What should be the nationality? We know that all Indian nationals are eligible to apply for this CSIR exam, whereas other nationalities are not 
allowed to write this exam please make a note we are all are eligible to write csir net life sciences some might be asking me this question i'm an indian but i'm living abroad can i write this exam a very good news again yes you are also eligible to write this exam but you need to have a proof of citizenship in india if you have any of the proof of indian citizenship then you are good to go and sit for csir net life sciences okay what should be my mark in my graduation if i have to apply the csir net life sciences so let's talk in detail about it minimum of 55 percentage of your marks in your graduation if you have 55 percentage of your marks in your graduation if you are belonging to general or economically weaker section then you can apply for the csir net life sciences suppose if you are belonging to yes est or if you are belonging to person with disability then you have a relaxation of 5% there's a relaxation which is going to be 5% so if you have 50 percentage of your marks in your graduation then you are good to go and write the csir net life sciences yes the next important question there's a difference between jrf and ls we know csir is for two purpose so one is for jrf and we know one is for lectureship so we can say ls if you want to pursue your research then you can take up this fellowship which will be funded by csir yes whereas if you want to be become a professor then you can avail ls so i'm going to talk in detail about csir net jrf age limit so there's a age limit for jrf but there's no age limit for ls yes we'll see the maximum age limit is going to be 28 years as of january 1 2022 but there is a relaxation there's a relaxation so suppose if a person is belonging to sc st or pwd or a female candidate then you have a relaxation of 5 years till 33 years you can write this exam if you want to go in for your research you can avail jrf fellowship suppose if you are belonging to obc and very specifically non creamy layer non creamy layer non creamy layer people who have uh, their annual income less than 8 lakhs less than 8 lakhs then you have a relaxation of 3 years so till 31 years you can apply for csir net jrf so accordingly you can plan and you can write this examinations what about lectureship yes if i want to become a professor or a lecturer in a college or university in india is there any age limit i'm going to tell you a very good news again there is no age limit if you want to apply for lectureship through csir net life sciences so this is another thing where you have to remember this reservation criteria and i already told you about the relaxation of marks let's go in for detail yes so there's a 5 percentage relaxation of marks if you are belonging to obc and if you are belonging to scheduled caste then you have again a 5% relaxation if you are belonging to est then you have 5 percentage relaxation we saw that there's going to be 50 percentage of your mark if you have in your graduation then you are good to go and write the csir net life sciences the next comes how is the selection process actually takes place so we'll talk in detail i told you there's a age limit for jrf so a candidate who applies for jrf is also eligible for ls so you can actually uh, tick both jrf as well as ls together but if the candidate has crossed the upper age limit i told you the upper age limit is going to be 28 for jrf 28 years for jrf and i also talked about the relaxation so about the relaxation we said suppose if a person is belonging to sc est or pwd or a female candidates then they have a relaxation of 5 years so which means 33 and we already know about for obc right yes for obc 
non creamy layer they have a relaxation of 3 years which is still 31 years suppose if they cross this age limit if they cross this age limit then you are not eligible for jrf you are only eligible for lecturership if you cross this age limit then you are not able to write your jrf you are only eligible for uh, ls positions right yes next question uh, what are the streams can apply for this csar net life sciences I told you about MSc. So let's talk in if you're belonging to MSc in any of these streams, then you are elog eligible for this exam. Suppose if you are going to be a life science candidate or if you're going to be a botany candidate or toxicology, if you're studying toxicology or if you're studying MD or DM or biomedical sciences or biomedical engineering or biotechnology or bioinformatics or any of these streams then you are good to go and write the CSAR net life sciences the next question I am doing my mtech and I'm at to complete my mtech what are the streams they can apply actually so the first if you're belonging to mtech biotechnology or biomedical engineering or biochemical engineering or chemical engineering or biopharmaceutical technique or agricultural engineering or biomineral processing and neutral networks then you are good to go and sit for CSAR net life sciences yes another important question that might be arising in everybody's mind how many CSAR exam attempts are actually allowed so there is no maximum number of attempts for lecturership or for JRF this is very important and I told you you should ensure not to have crossed your upper age limit I told you you should have never crossed your upper age limit for JRF this is for JRF and for lecturership there is no upper age limit so you should keep in your mind this is really important and finally we have come to the end of the session with a final note, I would like to end this session. Try, try, try until your goal is reached. I hope this video is very useful for those who aspire to become JRF or lecturer or professor in a college in India. Thank you so much for the time. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel Biotechnica. We'll meet in the next video. Thank you all of you.